Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Crystal clear out there as we wrap up the month of February. We're looking at a lot of sunshine on our Way 31 Skycam Network brought to you by Thompson Roofing and Construction. And uh, skies will remain clear as we head into this evening. Last time we can probably say that until this weekend. So soak in the sun while we have it. Temperatures varying from 75 in Gunnersville and Fort Payne, upwards of 81 degrees in Decatur and Moulton at this hour. In the Rocket City, it's currently 76 degrees. It won't be quite as cold tonight as what we saw last night. Last night we had lows in the 40s. Tonight we're looking at mid 50s for our overnight lows. 55 in Huntsville through Fayetteville, down to 52 overnight tonight around Fort Payne. Back at it with 70s on your Wednesday. Uh, cloud cover will make it feel a little cooler, but still we can't complain about these temperatures as we kick off the month of March. Now we are going to be looking at a severe weather threat for really a, a decent stretch from Wednesday night all the way through Friday morning across the region. Here is the outlook for Wednesday night specifically in North Alabama. Level 2 risk in place now from Northwest Alabama into Southern Middle Tennessee. See Huntsville technically in the level one risk, and that's the case for the rest of the counties highlighted in yellow. But everyone will have a chance at severe weather on Wednesday night. It looks like in particular 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. is generally the window on Wednesday night that we're going to watch for potential of heavy rainfall that could cause at least isolated flooding issues. It's gusty straight line winds, maybe in excess of 60 miles per hour. And there is a low threat for a brief spin up tornado or two with the storms that roll through tomorrow night. Let's walk you through it here Wednesday during the daytime, mainly cloudy sky, spotty shower here or there, but mainly dry from the morning in the afternoon. We head to the evening. We start to see storms move into northwest Alabama, and that's where that level two risk is in place. Those evening storms potentially being severe. It likely is going to merge into a, a line or a kind of a, a jumbled mess, but either way, these will be strong storms that then race across the region late on Wednesday evening into early Thursday morning. Again, damaging straight line wind along with heavy rain will be the primary concern concern as that cluster of storms passes on through. There's potential for over an inch of rain in spots. I think that's probably most likely in Tennessee, but there could be parts of North Alabama that get over an inch of rain as well. Certainly enough to pond on the roads. That is for sure. Uh, the Weather Prediction Center has a level two risk for flash flooding for the areas highlighted in yellow. That's far North Alabama into Tennessee. A little bit lower risk the farther south you go. That's just the start though. We're going to have continued scattered showers and thunderstorms during the day on Thursday. The good news is the severe weather threat during the day Thursday appears to be pretty low. It's not out of the question that we see severe storms during the daytime Thursday, uh, but probably a little bit more likely as we head to Friday morning. That is the time frame we are definitely concerned about. Strong cold front approaches from the west. This is going to pass through the region probably between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. That's kind of just a rough guess at this point. We'll have it more pinned down as we get closer to Friday morning, but what we're going to see here is just a fast moving strong line of storms that's going to pack a wind punch and there could be potentially some tornado threat within that line of storms that moves through on Friday morning as well. By noon, it is likely out of our area and we're actually expecting some sunshine by Friday afternoon. Even when those storms pass on through, though, we are anticipating a very windy Friday. Some of the models are suggesting the gusts could get upwards and maybe even exceed 50 miles per hour during the daytime on Friday. And again, that is after the storms clear out. It is going to be a windy uh, way to wrap up the work week, no doubt about that. But again, the sunshine returns to wrap up Friday. We'll see, stick with sunny skies as we head toward the weekend. Behind that cold front, it will be a little bit cooler. Highs down to the low 60s by Saturday and Sunday might even see one or two nights with lows in the uh, upper 30s, but we do rebound back to the low 70s early next week or next round of rain possible by next Tuesday across North Alabama.